I came from a curling family where uh, my parents and their parents and their siblings all played and so I was exposed to a lot. Curling was definitely not the cool sport in high school and yes, we definitely got a, a, a hard time at the bus stop after school with my curling broom. You had to really be uh, very in love with what you were doing to go through that kind of humiliation. <laughs> uh, we gave her a hard time. She had, in, back in the day, had some pretty wild curling slacks and uh, sweaters and, uh, and that sort of stuff. Uh, she was always very, very passionate about the sport. And, um, you know, there was a point where she decided to quit her job and take on uh, curling as a full-time career, you know, coaching, and everybody thought she was crazy and uh, that she was making a huge mistake. And we all look back now and go, wow, uh, what a spectacular decision. And we had no idea that she would rise to the level of success that she has. Definitely feel that I owe the game something still. I feel so lucky and privileged to have been able to enjoy a life as a professional coach and a volunteer coach. It's just an amazing thing to be able to do what you love and what you're passionate about and to be able to do that for a living has been a dream come true for me and with that I feel a lifelong commitment to give back in every way possible and part of that is definitely here in my home in Victoria to make sure that anybody in Victoria that has an interest in curling has an opportunity to try it because it's just an amazing sport.